So how can you continue to develop your capabilities to be an effective En-ROADS climate ambassador, someone who can run workshops using En-ROADS and help other people learn for themselves about this pressing challenge we face, climate change, and what we can do about it. So over the many years that I've been doing system dynamics modeling and working with companies and governments and many other kinds of organizations, uh, there's a few lessons that, that stand out. First of all, system dynamics is a technical enterprise and climate change involves understanding some pretty complex science and economics. Make sure you take the time to really understand what's going on. Ask the hard questions of us, study the literature, build up your technical understanding. But to be effective, that's nowhere near enough. You also have to develop your capabilities on conversation, active learning, active listening, all the so-called soft skills that people need in order to effectively help other people to learn for themselves. The key insight, hard one, at least for me over many years, is that you can't tell people the answers, even if you knew what they were. People have to learn for themselves. And so your role is to catalyze that process, to enable people to learn for themselves. And that means you have to be, in many ways, a coach and a guide, not the expert. If somebody asks a question and you don't know, you should say, I don't know, let me do a little research and I'll come back to you about that. If somebody challenges an assumption in the model, do not become defensive about that and explain to that person why their question is wrong or their challenge of the model is misguided. That doesn't work and it's probably not correct. So what you need to do is learn how to listen carefully to the concerns people express, the objections that they raise, and understand that some of them are just, hey, I don't understand why you're assuming this. It seems inconsistent with what I know about how the climate works or the energy system works. What's going on here? So there's a maybe a technical conversation as part of the answer to that question. Very often, though, these kinds of questions and challenges are coming from a place of deep emotion, deep feeling. Um, climate change is scary. It feels to many people, and I feel this way myself quite often, that it's this gigantic, inexorable tidal wave coming at us, and there's nothing we can do about it. Well, I don't believe that's true, but a lot of people are scared. A lot of people have that feeling of helplessness. And so part of your role as a facilitator is to acknowledge that that feeling exists when it does, create a safe space in which people can share those feelings, and then work through it with folks together. You're never gonna tell people they're wrong about that. You have to try to help people acknowledge it's a real feeling, and then, you know, what can we do about that? What can we do personally, professionally, and politically, meaning as citizens, to make a difference on climate change. So develop your technical skills, but also develop your skills in empathy, understanding, and listening. If you do all these things, you're going to be highly effective with En-ROADS, and you will be making a big contribution to addressing this existential threat we all face together.